If you wanted 2000 watts of portable power in a generator, this was your best option because you didn't have many other choices. But fortunately, there's a new product from Blue Eddy called the AC200 that is absolutely huge. This thing is loaded with features you've never seen before and can do a lot of jobs you'd never think a battery powered unit could do. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the unit in detail along with putting it to some tests you've never seen before. Blue Eddy put themselves on the map last year when they came out with this model. That was a great value, a lot of power, and it did really well on my test. But what they did here is completely different. They took a lot of customer feedback and came up with a great design. But the real key is what's inside. It starts with a massive 2000 watts of power and 1700 watt hours of runtime. It weighs 57 pounds, which is not light, but this is a real power station that'll be your central hub. And this new touchscreen is absolutely awesome. It makes using it that much easier, but you can also get detailed information about your power in and out, battery health, even things like data login are all right at your fingertips. This is a brand new feature in this market and it's definitely one of the best. And this is designed to be your central power hub, so you want to have a lot of outlets and all types of ports. And you've got plenty of them, but they've also added dust covers on every single outlet. And all of the six AC outlets use pure sign technology, so you'll get clean power. You've got four USB ports. Now these are three amp, which means you're gonna get fast charging, but they've also given you a USB-C port that has 60 watts of output, so you should be able to charge most of your devices or even a laptop directly. You've got these special ports that can be for RVs or other high amp applications. Now this is a 12 volt, 25 amp connector, along with two standard DC outputs that can put out three amps each. And this is your 12 volt cigarette style plug, but it's marine grade lockable and it's fully regulated with 10 amps of output. I like the lock because if you put in something like a refrigerator, you don't have to worry about it getting pulled out another great feature that I wish all of these units had is wireless charging but they went one step further they actually gave you two wireless output pads on top so now you can charge your devices without any cables at all now there are many ways that you can charge your Blue Eddy up but one of the most popular is to use the AC adapter and this thing is fast you can charge the entire unit from empty in about four and a half hours and the touchscreen gives you full charging information, but the AC adapter also includes a simple LED, so you know if it's charged or not. Another amazing feature is how you can charge it via solar power. You can actually charge it with up to 700 watts of solar input. That's an unheard of amount of power in this type of unit. And they didn't cheap out on these cables at all. This thing is all metal, it locks in position, and it's one of the highest quality connectors I've ever seen. It's got an MPPT controller built in, but what's incredible is that you can take that solar input of 700 watts and combine it with the 500 watts of AC input, and together you can actually charge the unit in as little as two and a half hours. That's a feature I've never seen on any other model. And what was a nice surprise is that you get a ton of cables right in the box, so you'll be able to plug into whatever you need. You've got a heavy duty solar charging cable, another solar cable with MC4 connectors, you've got a 12 volt cigarette style charging cable, and you've even got an Anderson power pole connector. And lastly, a 25 amp DC output cable that you can use for things like an RV or other applications. Now all these features are great, but I wanted to put this thing to a real world test, so I selected a number of things that would try the features and see how this unit performed. And I'm testing it here outside using a 140 MIG welder. This is a great little unit that's inexpensive and it's handy for jobs around the house. Now the Blue Eddy didn't miss a beat and I was able to do this welding without any fumes, noise, or any of the issues of my normal gas generator. I started my extreme challenge with a high amp appliance. Now this is a four slice commercial toaster that draws about 1800 watts. This is a good starting point that would really put the unit under a load. I plugged the unit in, loaded it with four slices of bread, and now I just need to turn the AC outlets on. Now that's easy to do by using the touch panel and you just activate the AC mode to be on. Now as the toaster runs, you'll hear the fans inside the Blue Eddy turn on. These are smart fans and they only engage for high amp draws. I'm currently drawing around 1800 watts, so now I wanted to start loading up the other ports. What I'm interested to see here is if the Blue Eddy can handle all of these ports being fully populated and not bug out or have any other types of issues. My first device is a MacBook. Now I'm directly plugging this into that USB-C 60 watt port and it started charging with no issues at all and this worked just fine while the toast is still being done. I also connected up an iPad, an Android phone, an Olympus camera, and also a bicycle LED light that has a charging port as well. 
finally I connected up a 12 volt fan using the cigarette outlet. Everything connected like this you could really get an idea for how you could make use of this. You could build it in a van or use it in a tiny home or any kind of application where you wanted a lot of power and a lot of connectivity. And the test just kept running. Now the one thing that I didn't consider was that four minutes is a long time to make some toast. So when the timer finally went off, that toast was really burned. And everything again went so well, I decided to do the test three more times. After spending hours doing all sorts of tests, I realized this thing is a winner. It worked flawlessly and was a great unit if you wanted a lot of outlets and a lot of power. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you got to see a product that is brand new in the marketplace and has some really amazing features. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.